Hello there! We're building a pit droid, and this is part two. In this video, we're going to assemble this pit droid, put them together, and see what we have. Let's do this. So our pit droid is all weathered. Now we begin assembly. So the first thing we're going to work on is the headpiece. The pieces we're going to install on the headpiece. This piece is going to go on the bottom. Two of these, one of these, and the main eye. You'll notice that each of these pieces has a couple little pegs on the bottom. And that the bottom of our headpiece has corresponding holes. That's how we know where everything's going to fit in. I'm going to start in the back with this small piece here and I'm going to put a couple of dabs of super glue into these holes. Take my piece. Yep. Put some pressure on it. And for these, we also have a notch in the front where this is going to fit in. Before we put these pieces onto the sides, we need to attach the neck to the base because we're going to put in some screws here that'll hold it in place and we can't access those screws while these are in place. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my neck piece ribs facing down towards the body and I'm going to get this somewhat in place and hope that I have a nice clean hole all the way through. We're going to take our screw and start feeding it in. I'm going to take my nut, put it in here. I'm going to use a screwdriver to hold that in place. I'm going to screw that in so it connects with the nut on the other side. I'm going to put some glue on the bottom too to secure it in more than one place. Line up our holes, a little bit of pressure. That one went in nice and easy. And now we have the bottom of our pit droid head all together. Gonna let that glue dry. We'll put on the front eyepiece after it dries. Before we install the main eyepiece, we need to put our dome inside there to give it that lens on the front. So the first thing I did I popped this ring out that was inside of here, popped it out, and we're gonna install this again after we put the eye in place. It's gonna secure the lens to the eye. Many different things you can do for this. You can buy a piece of plastic, you can 3D print a lens, many different options out there for you. I went with this toy Halloween mask it's called the No Face Chrome. Nice little chrome, already kind of rounded material. We're gonna cut this, fit it in there. So I'm gonna take this ring, I'm gonna find a spot where it fits nicely in the dome nature of the mask. And I am going to trace around where I'm going to cut out of the mask. Then we want to cut that out. I'm going to use these curved edged trimming scissors that I use for armor because I think it'll give me a nice cut around the pattern. And there we have a nice little dome eye. Take our ring that we took out before and we will push that back in to hold our eye into place. And to put the lens on here, we need a little bit more glue. We're going to kind of cover this angled area 
with a little glue because that's what's going to attach to our dome here. But I want something that if it seeps through a little bit as it connects, we can easily remove and clean up. So I'm not gonna go with the super glue, but instead I'm gonna go with a little E6000. Now the key to E6000 is you wanna put some on both surfaces that are going to connect. So I put my E6000 right here and I put it inside the same corresponding area on the lens and I let it cure for a little over a minute so that it's ready to be tacky and stick together. So the next thing I'm gonna do, push these together and lock it in place. So a little bit of pressure and we were able to get that all locked in and we're gonna let that cure overnight and we will be all attached. All right, so the next step to finalize the headpiece is we have to put the antenna on. I'm gonna start with a little bit of glue in these holes here and I'm gonna drop our base plates of the antenna into those holes. And there we go. Next, I have these two metal rods. I took the caps to the store to find ones that fit so that they'll fit in there nicely. I need one of these rods to be 17 centimeters and another one to be 27 centimeters. So I'm gonna measure those and cut them down to size. And then I'm just gonna take my cutters and make a nice little cut. Take a little bit of glue, put it inside my holes here. Careful not to have it drip all over. So your short one will go in on the bottom. Your tall one will go in on the top. Then we'll take our end caps, do the same thing, a little bit of glue on the inside of those. Pop them on the top. And we will let all that sit and dry. Now we're gonna to put together the body. We're gonna start at the feet and build our way up. For this project, you're gonna need a set of furniture bolts or dowel screws, nuts, and barrel nuts. Every connection is gonna be similar. Attaching the ankle, we've got our screw and our nut, same at the knee, tightening one end while holding the other with a screwdriver works best for me. Moving on to the fingers, they connect on either side. Now we use our barrel nuts in our hips, connect the hips to the upper legs, and take our screw and put it through and connect to the barrel nut. Do this on each side. Another barrel nut will go into each shoulder. We'll cover it with our little round peg. And then we'll come in through the back to connect inside to our shoulder. I had to get a special screwdriver, a right angle screwdriver to be able to work inside the back and make the connection secure. Moving on to the elbows, another nut and screw connection. and tightening with two screwdrivers, one on each side, and his arms are complete. Connecting his neck to his body, takes one long screw and a nut on the other side. Then you're gonna replace the back, drop our torso onto our legs, and we now have a pit droid. And to finalize him, I decided to make him a Star Tours droid. So there you have it. We now have a pit droid in the Star Wars basement. Be sure to like this video and subscribe because in addition to this pit droid, I've been building a stormtrooper and I'm taking you along for that project as well. So I'll see you in the next video and may the force be with you.